Hey guys, it's me, Nightsky, and today I want to talk about balance. But wait, before you click this video away because of the word balance, just as Blind Mike will probably do, let me point out that balance is a very sensitive topic and we should approach it with caution because even the tiniest change can have massive effect in the game. Now this being said, let's get started. Balance is an issue in Astroflux for quite a long time, though it has never been that broken than now. And the worst part is the majority of the community is ignoring this topic. Yes, I'm mostly throwing my eye on Blind Mike here, who immediately ignores everyone who just uses the word balance once. Now, yeah, a pro player who can pretty much kill everything and everyone sure has the fun of his life racking up kills and sure is against any change that would make him weaker. But this is not the point of a game. For this I could place any single player shooter where I just can pick on 60, 70 or 90 enemies at the same time. This would make more sense than playing a broken game wherever, where everyone and everything you encounter is either very strong or very weak, regardless of its level. Though the artifact restriction makes it a little bit better now. Let's point out what balance even is, because especially in Astroflux community I kinda have the feeling that nobody really knows what balance means and how to create it. Balance affects everyone and everything in the game, and it's main core of the game, also called metagame. You want to try to make every part pretty much equal with some slight changes to them, like you want to create a sniper weapon or a close range weapon, and though you make some slight changes, like the close range weapon is more of a rate of fire weapon with high DPS, while the sniper weapon is more of a direct dam damage hit weapon that deals a lot of damage just in one shot. Yes, this means even that the sniper class would pretty much be f very fragile and lethal in long range, while a melee unit would be heavily armored and lethal in close combat. Sadly, Astroflux gives you the opportunity to be everything at the same time. You can be a speed demon with heavy damage, tons of health and long range capabilities, which sure is a way to go, but this creates a broken meta. Balance should create joy for everyone. This means parts shouldn't just be fun for the user, but also for the affected one as well. If I'm fighting player A now, I want to fight him with multiple strategies and not just with the same weapon because it's just the strongest one of all. This is why I always try to point out balance issues in the game. Sadly, those suggestions are ma usually very ignored and the arguments are just like, you're like Anthony, like I don't even take this as an insult, it's just very childish if someone uses another person as insult. Sure, he complains a lot, but he has a reason. He is one of the older players in this game and he knows how to balance it was back then and then the crystal actually was a glass cannon, the tanker was a tank and the medic was a medic. Sure, the golden heart wasn't the most balanced of all back then but I rarely saw this one flying around. And the skeleton did a fine job too. Flying around the skeleton today is most likely a suicide because he will probably die soon. Now balance mm. should start there where it lacks the most, artifacts. You see artifacts randomly generated and pretty much create their own meta. The lucky enough you get, the more of a power of artifacts you obtain. And even if you're like me, very unlucky, even over months and years you can't really get good artifacts. Now I don't want to complain about my artifacts because I think you all saw my artifacts in the last video and yes, they suck. Uh, yes, for those who didn't know, I played this game for like three years now. In one month, I officially play this game for three years, I think. And well, I can tell a lot of, about balance back then. Back then, it was not very hard to actually kill someone regardless of level. Though it was pretty unfair when the ne neutron came out because seriously, I hate the particle gun. Now back to the topic, artifacts shouldn't be that random anymore, but actually serving the purpose they're actually there for. Which means health artifacts should get health and damage artifacts should get da damage and not both at the same time as it can be now. Weapons should have an equal use, regardless of acquisition. Yes, a light wave, light wave generator should be as useful as a blast and beamer should be as useful as a faceplate. For this, I actually have to create a working balance table. Though I'm currently working on one but it is very hard to create a nice one because as I said, balance is a very sensitive topic and it is extremely hard to create something like this. Now, uh, we can rebalance all weapons, but as example, Shadow shouldn't be as more useful than Golden Heart just because it is one of the newer ships and because of the cloak system. I think even the Judicator and the Bionic Queen should become as useful as the new ships, 
mostly because uh, the Bionic Queen is a melee based ship for high armor and speed. Yes, I completely agree with Supreme here because uh, he makes a good point. Uh, melee ship should be, be very fast, not too fast though. Um, and I even think the Bionic Queen needs some kind of pet or something like that. I suggested the Lara pet, which should be a stationary pet just for, well, stationary use. Uh, and the Judicator, I think this one should turn into a more, let's say, mid-range based ship. Like a multi-purpose ship and mostly directed to PvP because this ship was a PvP ship back then. It, it should be th like that today too. Least but not last, the NPCs should mostly rely on insta-kill damage. Yes, I know insta-kill damage is one way to make a game hard, but it even is not the best way. The best way is to go from different AIs and different tactics on t uh, enemies. So that will mean an enemy doesn't necessarily have to be like overly strong and have tons of health. It is just completely enough if just, as example, you give the Nexus a radio and it calls automatically all Nexus around it in a certain radius. Uh, this would make it hard too and yes, it wouldn't even require uh, insta-kill damage. Now, I pretty much said everything and I have to say I would love to know your own opinion. Write them down in the comments below in the format I linked in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.